Well, this boat specifically was made to be a chase boat. The main differences were a few customizations specifically for the, the client. So that was twin engines. She has got the T-top. She has electro hydraulic power steering. Uh, she had a total windscreen fitted uh, just to give better airflow over like uh, the, the actual main seating area. And she also had a removal of this V-berth, the standard V-berth at the front. So we have a large amount of storage uh, for deck items here. The main benefits of actually a twin engine boat, if it's done correctly, and there are a lot of boats out there that don't do it correctly, if it's done correctly like in this boat where you have two completely independent fuel tanks, two completely independent fuel separators, uh, actually two independent battery systems and electrical systems for each engine, it does mean that if there was any issue, be it electrical or fuel, from one system, then the other system is completely separate. But the actual boat itself does perform very well. It, she's carrying a little bit more horsepower than say the single engine 300, which is probably our best selling format of this particular boat. Uh, out on trials, you can actually cruise in the high 30s, early 40s on this boat with very little issue. Um, and with a reasonable load, she will still go in in excess of 48 knots. Well, actually, although this boat was built as a chase boat, she still actually holds many of the things that can be sort of built into any type of usage. Uh, so we've still got great carrying capacity of the standard boat with three at the back, four in the actual jockeys, two at the front. Uh, we also do have a lot of the original features, uh, such as the rod holders, the towing eye. Um, so, and even actually this bit here could actually incorporate a dive bottle rack so she could become a dive boat. It's, it's really up to the next owner of, of what they want to do. So 